So the hardest part for me is uh, leaving my family. For a long time, it, I was leaving my wife Katie, and now it's leaving her and our daughter Mabel, who is seven months old. So that's uh, that makes going away a little bit more difficult for me. Well, we're a couple hours into the drive from Fernie to Rosland. Got a show tonight at the Flying Steam Shovel before making our way to Nelson, British Columbia tomorrow to play Spirit Bar. In Rosland, we wrote an album there. One time we were staying up on the ski hill and we, uh, they gave us a beautiful accommodation to stay in and so we were there for two days and so we decided to do some writing while we were there and we wrote a bunch of, or we wrote one song and then a bunch of lyrics and stuff for In the Hills because um, we had a deadline so we were trying to mix show with skiing with pleasure and that's I guess one of the things that we've always tried to do is like maintain a balance of work um, life and play so we all really love the outdoors so being able to do stuff like that on the road is like a key element in our happiness. Take two. <laughs> at the venue to do this <laughs> where I'm not just looking like a weirdo in the corner making strange noises like this. My favorite thing about being in Shred Kelly is playing live shows and um, every once in a while we just have this really good night where we connect with the crowd, the crowd's connecting with us and uh, it's just like a magical moment and experience where the place is going off and we're having the best time. I'm looking over at my band members and everybody's smiling and uh, that is an addictive thing to perform and have that experience where you start to sort of want to do that every night. Thank you for Country Smokes. Up next, Strike Kelly. exhausting and after a giant tour we'll come home and be craving our own beds but then about a week later we're craving to go back out on the road again and, and play those shows and connect with the audience again. <laughs> 